classic Disney films are always a uh, are always a little bit of a a thing that people always have nostalgia trips about. And you know, we talked about you know whenever people put on the nostalgia goggles and decide to do and decide to you know either remake or reboot or reinvigorate a franchise. Mary Poppins Returns. I kid you not. Mary Poppins Returns. What? Okay. Mary Poppins, a classic a classic book series by uh, P.L. Travers. I want uh, y'all to keep talking. I'll be right back. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, PL, uh, made by P.L. Travers. Uh, made into a film by Walt Disney. Um, <laughs> loved. The, the film is loved pretty much universally by oh, everybody. Yeah. Except for P.L. Travers. Who, for the longest time, would never who ne- who said that she would never, ever, ever give over film rights again to Walt Disney? Oh wow! Because she was she said that well, okay she had several ridiculous this is actually played out this actually drum, uh, dramatized a little bit in uh, Saving Mr. Banks, which is the film that actually deals with you know the mm-hmm. dealings between Travers and Disney. Um, Travers was like very adamant that she. That she didn't want animation in it. She didn't want any uh, like. She mm. didn't want so, like the songs she wanted written. You know, she wanted them written in a certain style, and and, he, and they said that that wouldn't fit with a typical production style like this. It would work as a stage musical, but mm-hmm. not like this. And then uh, it it just like there was just a whole bunch of de- developmental hell surrounding that film, and Mary Poppins Returns. Uh, they finally, the Walt Disney Company fi- finally secured the rights to do more Mary Poppins stories. Now, from what I understand, they're going to be borrowing a lot from the other books to tell this story, but it's going to be, the main storyline in it's going to be its own original thing, hmm. which which is interesting. You've never seen Mary Poppins? No. Okay. That might be another one. So, anyway. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's been... Probably twenty years since I've seen Mary Poppins, so I really, really? can't. Really, oh. I, mean. I saw it five years ago, and I gotta say, it's still really good. Now, albeit Dick Van Dyke's, you know, Cockney accent is pretty hard to chew through. It's just like, "Hello, there, Miss Poppins. How are you?" It's like he's trying his best to sound like Michael Caine and failing miserably. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love Dick Van Dyke, but that accent was so bad, <laughs> so bad. Um, okay, so about this film, about the production. The music, the new music that they are adding in here, a lot of it is being written by Lynn Manuel Miranda, who is one of who is actually one of the best, like uh, Amer, like in terms of like new, like new, like he wrote a lot of the music for Disney movies like Moana. Uh, he, I think, yeah, he also wrote some for Frozen, and he also did Hamilton the stage musical, which hmm. you know I had my my qualms about that because of the uh, yeah. Uh, me and Elena had a disagreement about that, and well, you just don't like Alexander Hamilton, the historical person. Yeah, but uh, but because yeah, I've heard the musical is well, great. Oh yeah, the musical, the musical <laughs> from everything by all accounts and standards, I mean, it's Lin Manuel Miranda. Yeah, I, I have no complaints Nate about just the musical. I think there should have been a musical about him. I yeah, just, just about yeah. I think just, if I just done personally that, hate Alexander Hamilton. Well, well, and, and here and that was what I was trying to bring up. It's just like this this stage. They say that because. Elena and Wyndham both stated that you know that this didn't glorify Alexander Hamilton. I'm like. Kind of did because it kind of rewrites history. Because like later on, after you know Hamilton dies, spoilers <laughs> for any historian. Out, for I any mean, he's not still alive. It's yeah. like history doesn't really. <laughs> well, after spoiler. Hamilton dies, like his rivals who were like against him, like at the end of the play, or at the end of the play, are just like he was right. He was right about centralized banking. He was <laughs> right about all these ideas, and uh, and I'm just like they never said that. Me as a historian, I'm just like, that's a crock of shit. I'm sorry. That is a gigantic, heaping, smelly, corn-filled crock of shit right Whoa, there. It's a lot of corn. I know. And honestly, that was my biggest qualm against it, is that it, glorify, is that it glorified a lot of Hamilton's ideals, and it made as though the people that were against him had a change of heart. I'm like, no, they didn't. They still had their ideals and stuck to it. And even though the guy died, I mean, you know, rest in peace, Alexander Hamilton. But honestly, a death isn't going to change a lot of, you know, their ideals. But anyway. Um, so for me, Lin-Manuel Miranda, great, you know, great songwriter. And he's, from what I understand, he's actually in this. He's actually, 
He actually plays, I think, uh, not Dick. Uh, no, he doesn't play Dick Van Dyke's character. I think he plays like the understudy to Dick Van Dyke's character, like the chimney sweep. I think okay. he plays like the understudy. So uh, we'll have to see how that plays out. Hmm. So for me, I uh, I'm very excited for this. Uh, also, uh, freaking Emily Blunt as Mary Poppins, which. Emily Blunt, fantastic actress, very lovely actress, and from what I hear, lovely singing voice. Very, like, very, very lovely singing voice. I mean, voice. it's Mary Poppins, so... Well, yeah, it has to. Know. Well, you're, you're stepping into shoes that were filled by Julie Andrews, a Hollywood legend. I mean, and that's actually another qualm that P.L. Travers had against this film, or against the original film. She did not want Julie Andrews. She was just like, she was just like, she's too pretty. I don't like her. She's too pretty. I don't, I, I think, I think... You have to you have to get someone who's more who who's more, uh, I believe she said more um, uh, more realistic in terms of in terms of. It's, like, it's not like Julie Andrews is like a robot or anything. No, like I, I know. Well, she's not imaginary. Well, yeah. she's a real person. <laughs> yeah, it's just uh, in her mind, Mary Poppins was never like was like was never like traditionally pretty. Uh, she actually wanted she in her because in her mind, from the memory that she recalled, uh, P. L. Travers. Uh, the character Mary Poppins is based upon a, a caretaker who came over to help take care of her father when her father was dealing with his mental illnesses. Huh. And the woman that came over, according to P.L. Travers, uh, was like dressed very conservatively and had like a very like a very stern demeanor uh, about her instead of like a cheery like a cheery like like uh, demeanor. Sort of how like you, you have you seen any of the Nanny McPhee films? I have. Okay. I have. So okay. <laughs> So Nanny McPhee is a more stern individual, would yes. you say? Yeah, okay. Yeah. So she's, that is the she's crazy. Yeah. So that is the more well instead you know instead of the psycho crazy aspect, uh, which Nanny McPhee has instead of the pure stern demeanor. That's what she wanted to have represented more instead of like the bright cheery. She wanted that nanny from that TV show where the nanny goes into the people's house to take. Care oh, of the kids. Super Nanny. Yeah, she wanted Super Nanny. Oh Jesus. I watched the South Park episode. <laughs> Have you ever seen that? South Park? Yeah. Like, so I've seen that one episode where MCR is mentioned. Okay. <laughs> well, okay. Well, there's an episode where they actually, like, parody Super Nanny. And, uh, That's it's perfect. They, like, they try and get, like, her to look after Cartman, who is, like, the most, the, the worst yeah. kind of person. Like, honestly, this guy idolizes Hitler. Literally. Yeah. He idolizes Hitler. So... Anyway, Super Nanny comes in and she gets to the door and it cut. She's like, she's like, it's time to teach this child some manners. And it cuts to two weeks later. It cuts to a mental institution in uh, in Boulder, Colorado. And there's Super Nanny in her in her padded cell room, eating shit out of a toilet, and is yelling from hell, from hell. <laughs> just like Jesus, Cartman, what did you do to this poor woman? Whoa! What didn't he do? Whoa! Uh, that's that's the question right there. What didn't he do? What what other depraved acts does he have? Dude, you're Sorry. supposed to keep it going. Sorry. <laughs> okay, we're back now. Uh, Zach uh, Zach is back from his phone call. Yeah. So we talked about Mary Poppins and everything. You've seen Mary Poppins, right? I've seen Mary Poppins. Okay, Mary Poppins returns. We got the trailer queued up I've here. I've seen Annie McPhee. It's basically Can I tell you something, though? Thing. She's a liar. A spoonful of sugar does not help the medicine go down. A spoonful of sugar is really hard to get down. It really is. Words of wisdom. Also, cinnamon. I did. I, I'm an idiot. I did the Don't cinnamon do thing. That. I did it. I'm one of those people. Tide pods was next, but I was like, No, no don't do tide pods. A good idea. Your kidneys will die. <laughs> Your kidneys will shut down. What about if you only have one? Does that make the live? I'm digging the feel. It's got my favorite actress in it of all time, too. <coughs> Let's go fly a kite. There it is. <coughs> and 
from up in the clouds. <laughs> Mary Poppins. It is wonderful to see you. Yes, it is, isn't it? <laughs> She's got the accent down there really well. I'm oh yeah. Really digging the atmosphere. Well, yeah. I mean, it's it's classic yes. Mary Poppins. I it's mean, Emily Blunt. I was yeah. like, was she just checking herself out a little bit? I, I guess mean, uh, she was just like she was just like, all right, front looks good. I ain't gonna lie. If I was <laughs> in the real yes, I'd check her out too. Of course she would. You sick son. Emily Blunt, if you're watching, I got a huge crush on you. I think her husband will have something to say about that. That's fine. I'll Are you in. serious? That's John fine. Krasinski, Go Bill Bro. I'll take a beating. That's fine with me. <laughs> Jesus, you are depraved. <laughs> All right. So I feel like the only beating you're going to get is from your wife. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh I'm, God, that's knows, right. <laughs> she knows I'm just joking. <laughs> Don't you guys have like a list? No, no list. Uh, no list. No list. List of people you would leave. Leave no, them for. Um, the, some couples make a list of three to five famous people that if they got the opportunity, it's okay for them to sleep with, even no, though they're married. No, 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 yeah. no, no, my, no. friends. My no. buddy, my yes. buddy, like number one is uh, Serena Williams. <laughs> really? Yes. Damn. Aiming high on that list, um, there, man. Honestly, Ri the richest tennis player of all time. If I, if you had to choose, well, who would it be? Second richest, I say. Huh? If you had to choose, you're number one. You only get the one in this one, not not five. You get one. <sighs> okay, she's married, but damn it, I can't help myself. Christina, Christina Hendricks. Hendricks knew it. I, yep, I I'm predictable. I mean, honestly, I mean, one. honestly, she's tall, she's curvaceous, she's lovely, she's got a hell of a voice, and honestly, she's a very funny person. Yep, very uh, very funny. I gotta say, Jennifer Lawrence. J Law, really? Yeah. I, J Law was J Law was in my top five, but I don't know. Here recently, it's just been like, eh. Kind of falling, she's kind of falling down on my list a little bit. Micah? Oh, no. I do not play these games. Redheads? Oh, I, mean, I honestly, do not play these games. Your redheaded future ex-wives. I do not play these games, actually. I, I, I make jokes from time to time, Gillen? but I don't. I don't. Uh, I, I do not get involved in these kinds of uh, Olivia lists Munn. or anything. Olivia Munn? I mean, she's pretty cool. I mean, there, there are a lot of... She's a nerd, dude. There are she's... a lot of very nice people out there. Oh, God. Okay, that fine. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> wow. That's the worst thing you could ever do to somebody. Okay. This has nothing to do with the, the video, but I was just notified that two kids were caught recording themselves oh, cutting right. the ears off of a stray dog. That's oh, man. Right. And took pictures of themselves doing it and posted it online. No, turn, get that off there. Get that off there, man. That is the worst possible thing you could ever do. That's like... I would... Oh, my God. Why? Why? Oh, my God. Like, like future serial killers. Yeah, I that's think. pretty much like... Yeah, that's, that's serial killer behavior right there. Oh, my God. Back to topic. Like, I know I prefer reptiles over mammals, but I'm still not going to go cut ears off of a dog. That's messed up, bro. I mean, you can't cut, cut the... ears off those kids there. You can't cut the ears off of a snake, because they don't... Snake it's well, snake. Ostensibly don't have ears, I so... I wouldn't do snake. anything to hurt a reptile. Snake. snake. I'm a snake. I mean, they do. They can here, but they don't. I'm snake. They have ear holes. Yeah. So you can't oh, really. Jesus. Oh God. So. Scoop honestly, it out with a little ice, honestly, okay. Ice cream so, back on the topic of the film at hand. <laughs> yes. Mary Poppins returns. Um, <clears throat> Emily Blunt. I think hopefully she'll fill the role pretty easily because uh, she's got that. You know, she's she's got that charm to her that. I, and plus, you know, here she's got a lovely singing voice. She got Lin Manuel Miranda working on this. I mean, you've got a lot of good things going for this film, and I'm I'm very excited to see how I'm very excited to see how things go. I I mean, I there's a lot of hype behind it, especially considering when it's coming out, and hopefully the hype is met. But once again. The nostalgia <coughs> goggles. Sometimes the nostalgia goggles are are good. Sometimes you need your vision checked again. I, yep. I'm sorry, Zach, but I'm gonna drag you right now. That's cool. Everybody else does. If anyone in the comment section does not get mad at him for being on his phone after y'all fussed at me, sorry, for picking it no, up. No, 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 no. You were doing it during the video. But yeah, during the well, I the picked up like up. five seconds, and they lost it. Yeah. But well, no, no. It's that one because. <laughs> Because it's Pantera fans. It's Pantera fans. Pantera fans are well, is that, music. Isn't that it's like your work phone, though? So it's like, yeah. I mean... You know. Well, I mean, he it's was my on work Facebook. phone, but I'm on oh. Facebook. So I ain't gonna lie. 
So <laughs> he was honest, scrolling through his newsfeed. <laughs> so honestly, honestly, guys, yeah, here's the thing. Don't don't <clears throat> yeah, don't just jump on the hate wagon. Most of the time so easy. if we bring our phones out, most of the time we're looking up something, like a fact based <laughs> on what we want to say or watch. Yeah. Like it it's unless you're Micah or that. Or unless or unless we're watching okay. One Punch Man. I'm gonna tell you. The reason I look through my Facebook is because my wife posts posts umpteen million photos of my daughter a day. Aww. So I always go through my news feed like crazy throughout the day to see if she posted anything new. That's the only reason I go through my Facebook. Mm-hmm. Well, because you're stuck here a lot of the time. Yes, so. I'm, I'm here That's five fair. days out of the week. Nate That's keeps fair, him though. locked in a box in the corner of the upstairs. The <laughs> Dude. Hey, I'm really happy, though, because he cut a hole in the floor that I can use the bathroom. Oh, okay. So I'm so. really excited. <laughs> I'm glad you went with me on this journey. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. Ben's not here to say it, so. <laughs> there you go. I'm on this, Ben. Uh, don't we all? Uh, all right. So, uh, he's Mary not Poppins. Dead or anything. So, Mary Poppins returns. Yeah, uh, are you all excited for this? Do you all have any, uh, you know, do you all have any expectations for this? Do you have any fears uh, that this might not live up to the original's hype? Uh, let us know in the comments down below. Also, uh, if you want to check out the original trailer, uh, the uh, link to it is down there as well. Also, don't forget to check out our Discord and our Patreon. Uh, we're actually going to be starting a new series here soon. Uh, I didn't know I was allowed to tell. No, people no, no, about no, it. not yet. Not, we're not saying anything yet. Oh. I'm just, I'm just giving Dang hints. It. You're, you're gonna have to figure it out for yourselves what that is. So also check me out. Yes. <laughs> I'm so, in the description too. Check, yeah, she's down there as well. Miss Guns for Hands. She's almost at what? 700, 700 I'm almost subs now? at 700, yeah. Nice. All right. The road to 1K is rough. But I it's need to go subscribe fast. to Heather. Okay. You're not. Um, I already yeah. proved you I was subscribed, so. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I, I'm sorry. I don't do this You're very often. You're on Facebook, on your phone, or recording. Don't sub. I see how it <laughs> is. <laughs> well, you know wow, what? sausage party. What wow. <laughs> Wow, snippy bitch. Oh, wait, it's all one word, isn't it? I'm just messing. I'm not actually even mad. Okay, so I'm going <laughs> 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 to get a shift for that one, but it was good. I'm spelling it wrong, apparently. Uh, it's, what are you spelling wrong? M-I-S-S. It's all one, oh. all one run on. <laughs> so Mary Poppins uh, returns. Let us know what you think down in the comment section. Boop. Also, if you want to see Miss Guns for Hands, Feel free to uh, check her out. And uh, until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Zach. I'm Heather. Micah. I forgot. (laughs) And we will see you later, everyone. Peace out. (laughs)